What's up, everybody, and welcome to Tech 5. It's your boy, James Green. Today, we're going to be talking about Facebook and their app that seems to be killing your iPhone's battery. So Facebook is one of the most downloaded apps on iOS, but it's also been long cited as the cause of fast draining your iPhone's batteries. Last year, it was accused of using back, background tricks to stay active even when the, it's not even in use. Facebook admitted the bugs existed and then fixed them, but the question of the app's impact on the battery life remained. So similar concerns about Facebook's Android app led to the discovery that deleting or uninstalling the app off of your phone can save you up, up to 20% of the phone's battery. So after this big revelation, I myself set up to see if this was really true or not starting right now. So, so far it's been going on really good right now. It's still at, what is it right now? At about like 60% right now. And then I use it all day. So, so far it's actually going really good. And also some people have discovered that the Facebook's iOS app and switching it to the Safari browser on their phone can save them up to 15% of battery life. So using, so, so some this guy that's on the article, he used the iPhone 6S Plus for a week without the main Facebook app installed. So he recorded the battery life at 10.30 p.m. each day for a whole week, comparing the daily usage average taken for that week of the app. So they, he charged it overnight, taking it off the charger at 7.30 and used it normally throughout the day. And so it turns out that it is really true. It did save him up to at least 15%. He asked other people to see if the same thing would happen. And the results came back similar. They all had more battery life. So that's, so if you have one of those, try it for yourself, uninstall it right now. And instead of using the app, go in your Safari uh, web browser and start using Facebook on there. And if you're on Android, download it off of your phone and use Google Chrome or any other operating system of your choice on the phone. So for turning from this experience from the guy, he says it's using Facebook in Safari was almost as good as the app. You can place a shortcut to the Facebook in Safari on your home screen that looks almost identical to the app's icon. So while white is a little less bright, but you need eagle eyes to see. So the only restriction was the share to function, which does not exist for websites, meaning that to share photos, you have to manually hit the photos post fo post photos button in the mobile app. For example, like in Instagram, if you wanted to share both on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and everything else, you would need the app to do that. And it doesn't have the feature to do it on the mobile website. So you have to do it manually. So, so instead of having to go out and buy that one, that one case with that ugly ass bump on the, on the back, you can just simply just delete the app off of your phone and then use that to save you 20, 15 to 20% of your battery's life, which is excellent. And we can all use some extra battery life for our daily lives so we can use our phone more and more without having to constantly find a place to sit down and charge our phones. So. So I'm on day one of doing this, so I'm I'm gonna actually keep you guys posted on, and I'll leave some comments in this video and let you guys know how it's been going, progressing so far. So I'm gonna let you guys know that. So what do you think? I want to hear what you guys think about this. I want you guys to give it a try and have you give it a try. Let me know what your results were. Let me know in the comments down below, and also follow all of my social media platforms. They're all gonna be linked in the section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.